Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 3 and whatever that enemy is down there It is now pissed at me. I don't know why because I Thought I didn't aggro it, but I guess I did So you know what? There is no other way to go about this Then to fail a plunging attack Oh, what the hell is this? It <laughs> looks like a head what? On oh, it has eyes on its God, this is... The enemy designs are really... They're getting creative. I like it. I mean... You can definitely tell that they are taking... As much inspiration from Bloodborne as they can. You know, with the kind of grotesque enemies. Oh, that didn't kill you? Okay. This It's interesting because this... Oh, thank you for your shit. Literally. It's interesting because this weapon seems to have hyper armor as well. Court sorcerer stuff. Huh. It's what the guy was wearing that I just killed. Hood worn by court sorcerers of the profane capital. This tall dark headpiece suggests they may have also been oracles. There are many sorcerers who claim to who claim to airship to the great sage Big Hat Logan, and the profane capital houses one of two late leading schools. Interesting. And let's check out if this is anything different. What was it called? Not the Archdeacon. Court Sorcerer. There it is. The formal ghost teaching suggests... Yeah, okay. Cool. Well, this is a Mimic. That's for sure. We haven't killed a Mimic in a while. But let's go ahead and do that. Goddamn. I know this weapon doesn't fit this character at all. But damn if it isn't fun. And practical too. Okay, that's not gonna stun... And that killed him very quickly. Alright. Court Sorcerer's Staff. Kind of guessed it. It looks like we're going to be getting the Court Sorcerer's gear nearby. Is this what? Yeah, this is the initial bonfire. Okay. I, at least it's down there. What the hell? Okay, this room se seems strangely empty. Huh. Maybe a hidden wall? That's really weird. That can't be the only thing that's down here. Huh, interesting. Well, we still have some places to explore. Haven't fully looked at... The entirety of this... Oh, that's where you... Okay, so this is where I went. Up here. And yeah, we can still technically move forward. So I think I'm gonna do that. I like having a 100% block shield. It certainly makes me a little bit more comfortable. I just need to... Oh, we're back in Erythil Dungeon. And that's really cool. How these two areas are interconnected. And that's where the giant is. I do wonder... If you could kill this giant from here. Using poison arrows. Jailer's key ring. Oh, this is gonna. what's going to unlock a lot of the doors, isn't it? Should I give it a try? Well, I really don't have that much to lose, do I? Let's go shoot a giant in the crotch. He can probably attack, can't he, in here? What the? Where did you come from? Hello? Okay. That's really weird. I don't know where she came from. God damn it. There's a ton of them. It's really weird. And I'm super far away from my souls. Okay. Well, I gotta get back there. Because that's 14,000. That's nothing to joke at. Should I cut this out? No, I won't cut it out. It's actually not that difficult to run to this place. So I think we'll be fine. Am I going to... No, this is not the way. We have to go down here, right? Wasn't there another ladder? No, there wasn't. Maybe if I had... I think fall control is called something else in this game. I think it's called spook. They basically combined... Uh, the one that... Reduces the noise you make. And fall control into one spell. Which is kind of... Good. One of the reasons that that's, those spells were never used... 
is because they essentially just like didn't do enough for one slot each if you know what i mean anyways i should be able to run back here pretty easily i'm liking the pickaxe honestly again it's kind of like a weapon that doesn't really fit this build but i've never used the pickaxe and i think it's gonna help us until i get the fume ultra upgraded which isn't actually oh fuck it's good that they don't have a grab attack because that would have gotten me those enemies are really weird. Again, going with the Bloodborne-inspired enemy design, I think it's paying off for this game because you still have a mixture of... You still have the knight-type enemies. Like, you know, we had them in um, Boreal Valley with the point pointif knights. But they also have the weird ones, so... I like it, except for those fucking health-draining ones. It's really do without these enemies. So let's try and figure out where they came from. I just don't understand. Oh, what the hell? Are they, like, cloaked or something? Okay, no. I'm dead. I fucking couldn't roll away because... Oh, fuck, I just lost 14,000 souls. I should have gone in there and picked up my souls. That was really stupid of me. Okay, well, second run back. I'm gonna cut this out. God damn, that was stupid of me. I'm really annoyed. I I wasn't thinking. Okay, well, not the biggest loss, but still. Okay, let's do this. So, this is where they are. Yep, these fuckers. Thinking they can ambush me. Not a third time, that's for sure. Still drains my health, which is really irritating. Okay. Now back to our original goal. This giant. Hopefully it can take poison damage. Probably not though. Doesn't look like it. Does it even have a health bar? Huh. Really can't tell. Oh, well, it does have a health bar. Don't think you can poison it, though. We'll give it a few more bolts, because I think it's this is taking way too long. Way longer than it should. Nah, this, you can't poison it. My tricks don't work, do they? What about my... Would my standard arrows do more damage? No, they don't. Well... This is kind of shitty, isn't it? You can kill these things, it's just very difficult. I shouldn't have... Why did I remove that? Actually, I don't need to remove either, because I can still roll at full speed. No, not... We want this. Uh, I could do this. It's gonna kill me, though. Plus, there are... Oh, you know what? We'll kill the rats first. If I can hit them. There's a ton of them down there. You know what? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Wow, that killed a lot of them. This is really stupid. Because I'm going to get killed. Oh, what a, What the hell? I'm getting stun locked. Okay, well, thank you for taking care of the rats. Damn, that shockwave. Don't tell me there's infinitely spawning rats here. I think there might be. Wait a second. I have a giant on my ass who I didn't even deal that much damage to. Plus infinitely spawning rats. Great. Could just hit and run this entire thing. Although I think it's going to come after me. Well, let's see if there's a shortcut back to somewhere. Okay. It's a mimic, right? Yep. I think there are only mimics in this area. Doesn't look like there's anywhere else to go beyond here. Shit, this is risky. Again, you can just do this. 
like uh, the rats though. So I think I can get a couple from one hit. Hyper armor, you gotta go, you gotta come through for me. Just want to see what happens when you kill one of these. Oh shit, this is gonna fucking take ages. Can't get all three hits in. Hmm. Well, some I got half of him, half of his HP. Well, that nearly hit me, so we're gonna... We're gonna pu Whoa, what the hell was that? Oh, I got caught up in his hand. Well, I almost wanna edit this out, because this is gonna take ages. Well, I'm only 12 minutes in, but... No, what if the Mimic kills me? That would be really annoying. I wouldn't wanna risk that. What if I get this... Stamina recovery thing? Cool. That does actually... Huh. It's significant though, isn't it? Let's see how long it lasts. It's gonna determine how useful it is, honestly. Okay, well, we gotta be careful here. It lasts for quite a while. And I don't think it takes that much FP, but these rats... It's another problem. Oh shit, I can't attack him where, when there's rats out here. Can use my shield, yeah. It's too slow though, to counter hit. Well, I've come this far. I'm not gonna go back now. He, he can't one-shot me. That's the thing that comforts me. So we got that going for us. I should wait more, I should be more patient, because he eventually goes back to rest. Because I think if I manage to kill this guy, he's gonna have a lot of good shit to drop for us. Oh, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That almost one-shot me, holy shit. I'm so lucky. He's nearly that too. No, that didn't hit. He's dead. He's actually dead. Please tell me you at least give a decent amount of souls. He dropped something. Tight night. Oh, tight night chunk. Nice. Large shard. I can now upgrade my pickaxe. Profaned flame. Another large shard. And basically free reign of this bottom floor of the dungeon. We have more treasure down there. Oh! I didn't even see what that was. It's fucking Zigward. Oh, we have to rescue him again. This idiot. Sitting here, weighing my options. The moment has almost come. I just need a bit more time. Okay. My liberation requires a key. I think I just picked it up, though. But the key is outside. Hmm. A riddle for the ages. Well, that's why I'm here. I just gotta figure out how to get to his. Because I can see the door on the other side. Just gotta fi I feel like that's gonna lead to it. I have three Estus flasks, and there's a mimic here who, knowing my luck, is gonna kill me. But I think we'll buff up as much as we can. Hey, my FP is actually useful for something, both with both with the weapon buff and the stamina recovery thing. It's actually really significant. Do you see that? Oh yeah, I almost got grabbed. If anything has a chance of killing me, it's gonna be this fucking Mimic, I swear. Oh, that was really lucky. I fucked up that dodge, but I just got... I think the iframes helped me. Dragon Slayer Lightning Arrows. So we have a couple of things to read. We definitely don't need this. 
Large spear-like arrows enveloped in lightning created by the giant blacksmith of the gods. Lightning has been a weapon for, of dragon slayers ever since the time of Gwyn. Cool. We don't need that. And we also picked up the profane flame. Pyromancy deriving from the profane flame engulfs foes at range and burns them to, burns them to ashes. The, pro the profane capital was consumed by fire after Yorm the Giant became a lord of cinder. The fire and born of the sky is said to have incinerated naught but human flesh. Interesting. It's like, what was this called in Dark Souls 2? Goddamn. You, I, for I forget everything from Dark Souls 2. Uh, you picked it up from Strait of Olaphis, and it's a really annoying spell where I thought that was going to go down for a second. I got to find Onion Bro's cell. Let's think about this. Where th this is going to lead somewhere, that's for sure. It's probably a shortcut. No. Yes, it is. It leads to the start of the jail. Okay, that's interesting. How the hell am I going to rescue him, though? Hmm, what if you need to throw him the key? That's what I'm thinking. Well, whatever. Before we do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and visit Firelink and level up for a bit. Not even... Not, what, what am I saying? Upgrade my weapons. And then we'll go back and maybe... Because it was the same thing with the armor. You had to give it to him. But then I'm just trying to think of where I could find... Essentially the other side of his cell. Grey Rat is still not back. Cool. We are going to reinforce... Wait, I can do this? It's going to cost a lot of souls. Did I forget to upgrade this thing? before I may have you know honestly that would explain a lot of things and I could get this pickaxe plus seven why not cool we are on our way with a lot of things do I have umber lash no I don't I do have an undead bone shard though so we are gonna go ahead and use that up actually picking up that titanite chunk helped a lot with the giant so let's travel back and check out what else we can find. I know where to go forward. It's that other path in the profane capital. But I like that I kind of explored here. Trying to be as thorough as possible. It looks like this is a big... Blah, I can't even talk. This is a big branching path here. Because you can either go and take out... Uh, what was that boss called? The one I was stuck with. Pontiff Sullivan, I think. Yeah, it's the Pontiff Sullivan. You can go kill him. Or you can um, take care of this area. Which I assume is going to lead to Yorm the Giant. I mean, everything has been hinting to that. So these rats. So I don't know if they spawn infinitely or not. So if I talk to him... Nah, okay, so we gotta find... Of course you... Yeah, because there is a way to get that treasure. What am I thinking? But then how the hell do I... It must be some other path from Irithyll Dungeon. I did get a lot of keys, so... Maybe I can unlock a couple of new doors. Just trying to think of where... There are doors that I have not explored yet. I think there's got to be... The main path I haven't explored is the one down at the bottom with a ton of those health-draining enemies. You know where I died and I lost a lot of souls? No, I didn't lose souls there. I ran past. Actually, it might be easier to go back there from the profane capital bonfire. Get the fuck away from me. This health drain still pisses me off. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's gonna be easier to get back there from there. Now, I know I'm making like a lot of um, warps here all over. But I just wanna see... Okay, thank fuck the bonfire restores that because 
damn, whoever came up with that status can go to hell. I know I've been complaining about this enemy for probably like three or four episodes now, but it's just so irritating. Especially since it's not like... It's basically something you can't stop. I think that's what annoys me about it. Can you actually make that jump? Let's not risk it. I say as I almost fall off. Alright, so we're gonna go down here. And back through. Because I think that's gonna lead to... Zigward's jail. That's the only path I can think of that will lead there. I mean... It looks like I'm making pretty good progress on his quest. So, I might as well try and see it through. It's the other one I'm worried about though, Henri's, because... I don't know, I just have a bad feeling about it. So yeah, this is the place. This is a real shitty area. Like, they couldn't have put more of these annoying enemies here. Okay, this is... This is something you can open normally. Xanthus ash. Whoa, Xanthus ashes. Dust cr Oh, what the hell is that? Come on, I don't wanna. I don't wanna deal with this. We also have an amber. It's kind of not that useful for me right now. This is a dead end as well. Damn it. How am I gonna get to Zeke? What? How did they. Oh, because they're cloaked. Now that I know that they can cloak. Shit does make a bit more sense, doesn't it? Okay, jailer key. Oh, this is not. This is someone else. There is an NPC there, though. And of course, we have this path. Well, you know what? We might as well suicide this and get as much as we can. Only have 6,900 souls. Damn, I'm trying to figure out where I could get to Zeke bro from here. Really, I'm trying to make sense of this area. Because, like, he's somewhere like... He would be below us, though, wouldn't he? Okay, well, let's think about this. They all seem to have disappeared. If I could jump... Oh, yes, I can. Okay, if these things don't follow me... Hey there. What? How sweet. Good to know that a skinny little heretic can still turn heads. What the hell is she talking about? Yuria the witch? Oh, you're not one of them. Oh, right? she thought I was one of... Yeah. Accept my apologies for mistaking you for one of those leeches. So, what business have you here? This is a land of monstrosities. I am no exception. We'll help her. To save me. But I'm guilty. A wretched child of the abyss. Oh, what? Is that something you can forgive? She's... She's a child of the abyss? You are no ordinary man. Very well. Besides, I've grown tired of imprisonment. I am Carla, and I accept your proposal. Well, if you could just teleport out of here. Okay, well, we didn't save Zeke, bro, but I kind of think we made progress. I picked up a lot of stuff, that's for sure, but we are gonna, I think, warp back to the shrine. Look at a couple of things we just picked up, and then probably wrap it up. I gotta figure out how to get to Zeegward. Maybe it's from the other side, like where I... Um... Where I was, like where I killed the giant. I haven't fully explored that corridor, maybe. Okay, so we have Xanthus Ashes. That's probably significant. Umbral Ash of a sorcerer who explored the golden sorceries of a long-lost land. With this, the Shrine Handmaid... Yeah, okay. They were called Xanthus scholars, but some foolishly imitate them by simply dressing in yellow. And we also have the profaned coal. Remnants of the fire that burned down the profaned capital preserved in an icy skull. 
Dark Blood and Hollow Infusion. Interesting. Let's give it to her. It's a shame that she doesn't give unique lore for all of these. So what new do we have? Xanthus overcoat. Xanthus gloves. So everything but the helmet, essentially. Black iron stuff. Nice. What else? I think that's about it. Don't see anything. Mornings? No, that's, she always had that. I think it's only the Xanthus stuff. Kind of expensive though. 10,000. Xanthus clothing is the mark of a researcher of lost sorceries and the number of medallions denotes their success. A point of pride for the researchers, even if its, signific if its significance is lost on others. It's really fascinating. Picked up a lot of good shit. Still gotta figure out how to get to Onion Bro though. But you know, we have more time to explore. But we'll do that next time. I want to go ahead and thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls 3. I'll also try finding Carla in the next episode. I assume she's back. She should be. Yeah, I'll try finding her. Thanks for watching and goodbye.